Well, 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 it looks like we have our first profits. Seven whole diamonds. I'm happy with this, and I think that it is time to make a couple of purchases with our new profits. As you can see, the shopping district has been changed to grass. I think that basically happened overnight. Um, but another thing you might notice is that my textures look a little different. I have switched to, at least for this, um, this series being on this server, I've switched to using the fabulously optimized mod pack plus a few things that I was already using plus Bobby, which was recommended by Amy. Um, for seeing farther on this server than we can, than the actual render distance is set. But you can also see that the shopping district is so much less laggy for me now. I, I love it. I, I've literally only been on for like a few minutes and I'm mildly obsessed with, with this whole situation. Oh God. Gosh, you can only buy potions if you are a really good parkour person. All right. So I don't think any of the available potions are corrupted. Um, I'm going to take one night vision bottle for now. And I think I'm going to try to corrupt this into invisibility. I should have all the ingredients for that. Anyways, I have lots of plans for today. Um, maybe not as long and grindy as last episode, hopefully, for my sake. But the very first thing is I think I need to take on that bastion. Bastion? Bastion? I, how do you pronounce it? My husband and I have been having this debate recently. How is it pronounced? He says I say it funny. Do I say it funny? I don't know. But anyways, it has netherrack in it, and I want to get us set up for potions. And I also have never been inside a bastion. I understand that the piglin brutes don't respawn in one, but I'm, I'm very nervous about this. I keep thinking maybe I should bring a friend, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I should do it on my own because like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's the experience, right? Anyways, I think I need to get some potions going for that. I'm not ready for this, but I guess we got to do it, huh? All right, here we go. All right, so the bastion is there. Um, as I understand it, if we take out all the piglin brutes, they shouldn't respawn. This is a very interesting area. And I think I'm gonna go kind of from the top down. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Oh, gosh. Okay. I don't know exactly what brutes will, like, attack you over, so that's exciting, too. Oh, gosh. That sounded angry. Gosh, okay. Okay. We're still alive, that's good. <laughs> now, I think one of the things that you can find in a bastion is, um, okay, is this the same? Okay, that is the same chest. Is the, um... Oh, gosh. <laughs> He's mad, he's mad, he's mad. Gosh, 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 gosh. Okay, okay. We're gonna... Ah! 
Yeah, get you, get you, get you, get, 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 get. Die. Okay. Huh. Okay. I threw my pickaxe? What the heck? There it is. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh, gosh. Heckin' lava. Oh, it looks like... So somebody has visited this place. So if there's good loot around, they've probably already taken it. I'm guessing. Okay, so we've gotten as far up as we can go. Just found the one chest. I think... Now, I don't know if they get mad at you for breaking the Gilded Blackstone. I'm not sure. Okay, okay. Alright, so no one should be able to get to me. Okay, they all just got mad. They're all above me, mostly, I think. Okay, there's a lot more Bastion below us. Oh gosh. That was a piglin brute. Come back here, bro. Nice. Did not drop anything. That's okay. Okay. We're out of here. And of course it's nighttime. We're gonna sleep right here. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed by that. Two two chests. Nothing nothing extra special. I got I got a banner pattern, so that's interesting, I guess. I got a little bit of gilded blackstone, which is cool. I was really hoping to find the pig step um, music disc, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, we, we also grabbed a lodestone and some blocks of gold and things. Let's see, which way is, okay. I am shaking and nauseous, not gonna lie. <laughs> I was so stressed. We did get to, we did kill one brute, so I guess that's cool. Ha, here's where I've been keeping Blackstone. Not gonna lie, that was a little anticlimactic for me, but it looked like somebody else had been there already. There wasn't anything particularly treasury. Um I mean, I got those, I got those gold blocks, which is good, I guess. Let's take a little junk, jump into the end. Oh, hello, Mr. Enderman. I need a few things from the end, but I also wanted to check out, um... I hear tell that there's a public wither rose farm. I suppose I could check our map. I should definitely have more rockets on me than this. Oops. Okay. Gosh. What the heck? Oh my gosh. That's not cool. What? What? Okay. Uh. I mostly want just a little bit of these guys. Oh, goodness. There we go. Now, I know I say it every time I'm in the end, and literally nobody cares, but I love the end music. Thank you, that is all. <laughs> I'm gonna follow this path and see where it goes. For no other- oh my gosh, well it goes over the edge! What the heck? Um... 
for no other reason than I just kind of want to see what our end is like. Okay, we've got a big island over here. Let's 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 take a little gander inside and see if there are any shulkers left. Okay, well that was a fun little adventure. We're gonna fly off this way now. <laughs> and I believe. There it is. Oh, it's covered in water. Okay, so directly east is another island. And that seems to have... Yeah, a road out to this. But let's... This isn't precarious at all. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! No, no, no! No, gosh, 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 gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. That was not good. Okay. Um. I'm alive. I'm okay. Mmm. Accidentally looked an Enderman in the face. That was not good. That was stressful. Now we can get out of here. <laughs> I think I want to go just explore around spawn a little bit. Ooh, pretty colors. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Guys, look at this. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this. Okay, okay, I need to I mm, I need to like sit here and analyze exactly exactly what's going on here. Oh, this is the other D. Awesome. And their greenhouse. If it's a greenhouse, I think I feel safe enough to like pop in and take a look. This is this is very pretty. Oh, and they have a little oh my gosh. Little beehive attached to I love this. Not gonna lie, I get a little intimidated every time I see all these wonderful. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Uh, all but like, there's there's just so many talented people who build such cool things. I saw this area to dragon horn. Cool. I saw this area on the map and I thought it looked fascinating. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Oh my gosh. There's too much. I can't see it all. I love this. Look at that wheel. That looks super nice. And the 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 gradient on the roof. Oh my gosh. I love this type of gradient roof. With the, like, sunset colors. There's just so many things. Oh, there's a... There's a heckin' ship! Alright, well, I think I'm gonna head towards home. And I have another stop I need to make on the way, so... And we are back in an area that I recognize. <laughs> Alrighty. So, we've been to this nether hub before, and I don't actually know where this is, like where this goes to. I'm kind of, you know what? I'm curious. Let's check it out. Okay, we came out on top of one of the uh, letters there. Okay, so, okay. I've not seen this area, and I think we won't spend too much time here. We'll pop back into the nether hub for now and head over to the blaze farm. You know, having some looting on our sword would not be a bad idea. 
I think I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We're gonna take our loot and head out, I think. Oh, gosh. Gosh, gosh, gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. That did not hit the staircase. Goodness, why is the nether like this? Besides exploration and all the things, I do have a goal for the day. And that is to start working on my portal area. Is it the most important thing I need to be working on? No. Is it something fun that I want to work on? Yes. <laughs> oh gosh, why is it nighttime? I don't like this. So let's take a quick look at all of the things that we gathered and then Pearl threw at us and Monkey as well. So we've got some wither roses and that's because I would like to make a ghast farm. I'd like to get the gun, my gunpowder that way rather than a creeper farm. And I also want to be able to sell gas tears in my shop feel like it goes with the theme quite well. And Pearl also gave us a block of er, a stack of copper blocks and all these slime balls. I'm not going to have to worry about slime balls for a little while, though I do need to get a slime farm going. Oh, hey buddy. Okay, first off, I think what I want to do is set up a spot for our uh Purper farm. I'm gonna have uh, a little house around that and of course a glow lichen farm which we have yet to set up and Have I been intending to build these things? Yes Am I going to anytime soon? We'll see I'm busy building farms and things the pretty parts will come later She says while getting ready to build a pretty portal area that has no use other than being pretty Okay, so here on this server, we are able to make portals any size at all and any shape, and we can use Crying Obsidian. I only just learned about this at, like, the end of the last episode. So, I'm going to start working on my portal. I think that's looking okay. I do feel like... I know, I feel like I could do something better, but I don't know what. Anyways, we ready to light it up and hopefully it all connects back. Oh, that's pretty. Now here's the thing, most people are going to uh, exit the portal this way and we do need some nice things to see. This is gonna end up being our villager area. Um, so it's going to be a little, a little town, but I don't think it's going to be snowy. Um, and then on this side, we're going to put in a giant icy tree. And that's also going to double as our enchanting area. Um, we'll have a road and a rail system, so maybe, hmm... Well, I've just been working away and realized I should probably update you guys. So this is what our tree is looking like. Um, I'm still not like a thousand percent happy with it, but I think it is also the best uh, custom tree that I have built yet. Um, I love, I love all the lights. But this is where our enchanting setup is, and it's at 30 levels, and I like having it, like, suspended in the air like this, but I don't know what to do with, like, the floor. I'm not, I'm not happy with, like, how the bookshelves look completely unsupported. I'm fine with the enchanting table looking unsupported. Um, but I think the bookshelves need something structural, and I need something in the floor. That looks good. So yeah, if you have suggestions for those, I would love to hear them. 
I've kind of run out of ideas for that at this point, though. I also spent some time working on armor stands. And we now have a little fishing armor stand out here. Um, yeah, so we were talking about uh, subsistence fishing when I made this, this fish wheel. Um, what non-native Alaska residents can do is they can dip net for fish. Um, and there's this place where my dad would go to dip net that's on the the bank of a river you can only get to it by a boat um on the side of the river that he works on and you basically go stand out on a rock for 12 to 15 hours and pull fish out and my family usually gets about 80 fish is what we're allowed to get um i i, I tried to make a net it didn't go great but hey, it's my first armor stand, so it's not bad. The other thing that happened last night while I was just kind of hanging out doing chores is that uh, one of the other people who is on late at night, on the nights that I'm on, um, Lou, Lou, who's not on right now, told me that they had a, a wandering trader. So I went over there and I grabbed some more mini blocks and some more heads. And Lou also gave me this deep slate diamond ore block. Um, but we got we got a bunch of different ones. So we got some acacia logs, some oak logs, mycelium, uh, this lapis, and the wart blocks, some crying obsidian barrels. I'm I'm really excited about this. I'm having a lot of fun collecting these. Now, I was going to go ahead and start working on a farm and all that, but I have had... Ah, there it is, I think. I have had not the best week, and I just want to chill. So I think... Oh, that... So Gracie's Kingdom, which means the creeper farm portal is actually over here. Okay. Now, as I was saying, it's been a bit of a rough week for me. And I was going to build a farm. I really want to get going on a gas farm soon. But I think for today, I just want to hang out and grab some fish and play with my axolotls and breed up some axolotls. That's a puffer fish. We don't want to go over there. Okay, excuse me, little buddy. Aha, there's the fishes. Hey, bud. Got you. Queen Angelfish. I think we're going to save that one for pretties. Hi, my little axolotls. All right. So we found this axolotl here when we, you know, got our axolotls. And I thought he was blue, but I, on further reflection, he might be white. So I guess moment of truth? That looks like the white ones, doesn't it? They're still blue! That's the problem. It's still a blue thing. Ah, well. Time to start breeding up some axolotls, I guess, huh? Hey, my little friends. Alright, little brown one... Little white one. I thought when I found them that the cyan one was like the blue one. And I'm a little disappointed yeah. that it was and that That's a very weird. <laughs> right? But I saw uh, your video, you were like, ooh, is that the blue one? I was like, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> and a yellow. There we go. <laughs> We, we did get a cyan baby! Yay! <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. some really rich, fancy people have, like, fish, like, tanks in their floor. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not building anything like that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. 
town is way too tiny for that. I'm building that's an fair. observatory right now, so it's definitely not going to be in there. Yeah. Um, well, if you want to hang on to a brown axolotl. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, well, you're welcome. So cute when they're in the bucket. Right. I love the little them. paws out hanging over. Adorable. I can't with the tiny baby axolotls. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Well, we have so many baby axolotls now. And we're going to leave one of each color that we currently have in here. I realized that the only other color that's not like, you know, the parent color that they can make it is is the blue ones. So I don't have a pink axolotl and i need to get one um but we have lots of little axolotls in our box here so i absolutely love this music shop but i don't exactly have a place for music yet uh but they have goaded tunes upstairs which has like goat orders and i don't know if that's like okay so that's that's they have they have screaming goats available um, and then you can also commission note blocks and things. This is literally my favorite thing. Like, I am a professional musician, and goats are my very favorite animal. I always loved uh, taking care of goats. I had goats for a while, and I farm sat a lot as a teenager. And they're just, they're just my favorite. So that's a great shop. I love it. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for coming along and hanging out and doing chill things and fun things and happy things in this episode today. Uh, if you do have suggestions for this enchanting area, please let me know. I'll be playing around with things too. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, please do give it a like and consider subscribing. I do need to light up that cave underneath this area. Anyways... I will see you all around for the next one.